Located along the Ohio River, Cincinnati is a bustling city with a distinct culture. Cincinnatians are very proud of their hometown, and this pride can clearly be seen in their outspoken love for their sports teams, rich cultural heritage, and fantastic food. Vucation presents the best restaurants in Cincinnati, Ohio. Jeff Ruby's Precinct Carnivorous Cincinnatians have been flocking to this spot ever since it opened in 1981. Jeff Ruby got the precinct off the ground with a few famous backers that included the likes of pro athletes and celebrities. In the ensuing years, the steakhouse has been attracting that high society crowd in droves, but that's not to say you have to be rich and renowned to eat here. The restaurant is decorated with police memorabilia, which pays homage to the building's original purpose for the city's mounted patrol. The precinct's specialty is dry-aged steaks and there really isn't a better place in town to get a filet or New York strip. Each gloriously grilled and lightly seasoned slab of meat comes with a side of potatoes and a salad. If you're not feeling steak, the menu also features shellfish, chicken, pork tenderloin, and other fresh seafood options. Sides are served family style and include items like baked macaroni and cheese, featuring six imported cheeses. Service is spectacular, and the restaurant has a business casual dress code, so don't come in a t-shirt. The adjacent bar, however, is a bit more casual and serves the same menu. Arnold's For hands down the best burger in town, hop on over to Arnold's Bar and Grill, located a couple blocks away from the Hamilton County Justice Center. You can't miss the place as it features an iconic bathtub out front. On the weekends, there's usually live music and a lively crowd. The weekdays tend to be a bit quieter, but still worth visiting. Arnold's embodies that close-knit, local favorite vibe to a T. Their burgers are big, juicy, and packed full of flavor, but the rest of the menu is also great. Check out Marty's Waffles and Chicken, although the tab salad is also pretty remarkable. For dessert, throw caution to the wind and order the lava cake. Boca after catching a play or musical performance at the Contemporary Arts Center, walk a couple of blocks down the street to enjoy a sure-to-be-fire meal at Boca. Elegance is the word that comes to mind when we think about this European-style restaurant, but not that pretentious kind of elegance. Boca instead offers guests a warm, welcoming vibe that perfectly blends style with comfort. You can expect quality cuisine when dining there. They somehow manage to make something as simple as a beet salad new and exciting, elevating its flavor and texture profile to thrilling new heights at the hands of Boca's talented and visionary chefs. Their pasta with bolognese sauce is to die for, but the scallops and ravioli are also highlights of their well-rounded menu. Plus, they do a great job with wine pairings, so don't be afraid to ask. The varietals and vintages are lovely. Orchids at Palm Court Right around the corner from Fountain Square is a restaurant that rivals some of the finest Michelin-starred establishments in New York City. Everything on the menu is phenomenal, fresh, and predominantly locally sourced. Orchids is located in the historic Hilton Netherland Plaza Hotel, and Palm Court is one of the most elegant and distinguished spaces in the city. The dining room features a French Art Deco theme accentuated with touches of crystal, fine china, and genuine silver. It's run by award-winning executive chef Todd Kelly and his valiant team of culinary wizards. No expenses spared in the preparation of their food. From fresh-caught fish to caviar and house-made cheeses, Chef Todd proves time and again he's a real artist. Orchids at Palm Court is one of just 63 restaurants in North America to achieve the coveted Five Diamonds rating from AAA. Diners ideally should dress to impress, but a jacket and tie are not required. We recommend their popcorn grits with leeks and black truffle or the monkfish with brown butter, braised kale, bacon, and baby eggplant. Salazar Salazar, under the direction of executive chef Jose Salazar, offers a fine dining experience in a more casual atmosphere. It's located in the Over the Rhine neighborhood and features a menu with fresh, locally sourced ingredients. There are only 42 seats inside and an additional 8 on the patio, but don't let the small size deceive you. The flavor you can expect from a meal at Salazar is big, bold, and balanced. 
Everything on Salazar's menu is deliberate and flawlessly executed. Ingredients are artfully combined, and the aesthetics of plated dishes are photo-worthy. The menu is seasonal, but there's always a burger and veggie risotto dish on offer. We tried the everything-crusted salmon served with a side of veal sweetbreads, and we have to hand it to them, they were mouthwateringly delicious. But even if that's not available on your visit, there's certainly something you could relish in. Camp Washington Chili Cincinnati has long been famous for its unique variant of chili. Honestly, the word chili is a bit of a misnomer, as the meaty sauce that Chili Cincy parlors use to top their spaghetti dishes and hot dogs is more akin to a curry or mole. The best-known chili parlors in town are the chains Skyline and Gold Star, both of which are pretty great. But we believe the ultimate Cincinnati chili experience is at Camp Washington. Cincinnati chili was invented by Greek immigrants more than 75 years ago. Since then, it's come to be known as a Cincinnati staple food item. We recommend trying a three-way which consists of chili, spaghetti, and a mountain of freshly shredded cheddar. You can make it a four or five way by adding beans or onions or both. Another great choice is a cheesy coney, which is cheese, chili, onions, mustard, and a hot dog on a Kaiser bun. It might sound simple, but the flavor packed into that substance that bears little resemblance to Texas-style chili is nothing short of addictive. York Street Cafe Tucked away in what was once a historic pharmacy building is an eye-catching restaurant that's filled with antiques and collectibles adorning its walls. The ambiance is inviting, but what really makes this spot great is the menu. They use only the freshest ingredients, including locally harvested veggies and herbs from a garden down the street. York Street Cafe is both family-friendly and a great place for a first date. They have vegetarian and gluten-free options, and items like soups, pies, and cakes made daily. Soto. This reasonably priced Italian restaurant serves up house-made pasta dishes that are out of this world. It's actually the sister restaurant of Boca, and clearly the quality and attention to detail featured at that spot has trickled over to here. We highly recommend the Gemelli con Pomodoro and the Panetta alla Vodka, but everything on the menu is a hit. Other recommendations include the short rib capolacci and the kale salad. And for starters, give the smooth chicken liver mousse a go. Mazunte Taqueria Right down the street from the Holiday Inn Express and Suites on Madison Road, Mazunte may very well be the best Mexican restaurant in town. They serve fresh, flavor-drenched, authentic Mexican cuisine in a friendly and casual atmosphere that makes you feel like you're sitting in your abuela's dining room. Their staff is quite pleasant and extremely knowledgeable about the menu. Start the meal off right with homemade chips and salsa, then move on to something more substantial like the street tacos or enchiladas. Portions are generous and side sauces and salsa are offered free of charge. Joe's Pizza Napoli Located in Milford, just north of Cincinnati, Joe's Pizza Napoli serves up traditional Neapolitan wood-fired pies made of the highest quality ingredients and made fresh daily dough. From the first bite, you'll notice the difference. Joe's doesn't try to hide behind mountains of cheese or cheap gimmicks. Everything is straightforward, but in that simplicity comes elegance and marks of a true artisan. While the pizza is probably some of the best in the region, unfortunately, the atmosphere could use a few refinements. Guests are seated at cafeteria-style tables in a small, unassuming dining room. If you can get past that, Joe's really is something special. The Lubecker With dishes like Jaeger fries, currywurst, Reuben pretzel sandwiches, and schnitzel, the Lubecker aims to give Cincinnatians a taste of authentic German street food. And while we can't attest to just how authentic the offerings really are, we can confirm their eats are pretty excellent. If you're looking for delicious, soul-nourishing German food, this is your spot. Their sides are especially good, like potato salad and sauerkraut. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever eaten in Cincinnati? Did we miss any of your favorites? Let us know in the comments section below.